You know, since we always talk about vintage tech stuff on this channel, I thought we'd mix it up a bit today because yes, I bought an iPhone 14 Pro and yes, it only cost me $300. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. You know, I was a bit skeptical about getting the brand new iPhone because I already had an iPhone 11 that I got back in 2019. And even though it's a few years old, it still works just fine. But I did have a couple of complaints, mainly just with the storage because this is the base 64 gig model, which I thought when I upgraded from my iPhone 6S, which had had 16 gigs of storage would be plenty but I do use this phone pretty often to shoot 4k video clips and you just can't do a whole lot of that on 64 gigs of storage so that's why I went ahead and more than doubled the storage with this guy and got the 256 gigabyte model and yes it only cost me 300 bucks how on earth did that happen well it's because of this trade-in promotion that all the major US carriers are doing right now to I guess promote the iPhone 14 Pro's launch and the regular iPhone 14 as well. You can use this trade-in towards that as far as I know. So I'm going to actually get, once I send this phone to my carrier, $800 in bill credits, which is nuts because there's no way I'm going to get that much for this phone. And that was the, the thing that made me just pull the trigger and go, you know what? I'm going to get this thing 300 bucks. That's a no brainer. I'll upgrade my storage. I'll get the latest iPhone and I can make a video on it, which of course is what we're doing right now. So I did get the deep purple because that's, you know, the new color and I wanted to see how purple it actually is because I've seen videos of it and a lot of people are saying it's not really purple, which doesn't bother me that much. I honestly just wanted a color that's not space gray or black. I wanted to get a different color iPhone when I got this one. I was like, I'm going to get the 128 gig uh, product red version because I thought that would be pretty cool. And I went to Walmart on Black Friday. That's when I got this because they had one of those like get a free $300 gift card promotion thing going on and they just said we only got 64 gig black take it or leave it so i got 64 gig black and you know i've kind of wanted a different color so now i have one and now i have more storage which is great let's just open the freaking thing up i know some of you guys are saying just get to it already but let's be honest you guys have probably seen like all the big tech youtubers videos on this uh, and that's why this is not going to be a full-fledged review. I am just going to be unboxing this thing and giving you guys my first impressions. And yeah, I can definitely say uh, that does not look very purple. I mean, yeah, that looks a little bit like there's a hint of purple in there, but I think it looks pretty nice. It's just, it's different from the space gray kind of standard color that I've used for, for years. So I'm definitely excited about that. Uh, we'll go ahead and just set this aside um, for now. And we'll take a look at what else we got. We have our non-USB-C cable. Although, I mean, it is USB-C on one end, but it's still lightning, Apple. And I was kind of surprised about this. I thought Apple would finally make the switch over to USB-C after that whole European court ruling or whatever it was, but they haven't done so yet. And what do we got in here? Our Designed by Apple in California thing. You no longer need a physical SIM. Yes, this was the uh, the big thing with this. I mean, they're, they're dropping physical SIM support, which is definitely going to annoy the people who travel a lot and who rely on getting temporary SIMs. But I have seen a few temporary eSIM companies, you know, that are, that are doing that whole thing. You can already use them on your current iPhone, even if it has a, a SIM card slot like my iPhone 11 does here. But yeah, so we'll just set that aside. You got your little, like, what is this, your, like, regulatory stuff. And then one Apple sticker? I mean, come on, Apple. They're really cheaping out on this stuff. It's, like, slowly going down over time. I mean, no charging brick and only one Apple sticker? I mean, come on, Apple. Like, I get, you know, the whole environmental thing. Yes, it's good for the environment, but... I mean, you couldn't just include one more sticker in here. I mean, come on. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the front of the iPhone 14 Pro. And we're going to peel back the beautiful... You know it's the rule, it's just what you have to do when you get a new iPhone or any other phone or tablet or whatever for that matter. So let's go ahead and see if this thing has a charge. We'll power it on here. I'm definitely really excited to explore the dynamic island and see <laughs> like the most Apple name ever. I think MKBHD said that. Uh, he, of course, he has a really great video going over the iPhone 14 Pro. If you got, I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. What I have to do is first, you know, restore this thing from a backup and, and 
do all that jazz. So I'm gonna go take care of that and I'll be right back with you guys. And there we go, simple as that. It's still downloading a bunch of apps in the background. And I mean, like I said, this is in no way gonna be a full review. This is actually gonna be a pretty quick video by MJD standards, but I do wanna check out the dynamic island a little bit. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just launch, uh, I guess, voice memos. Let's, uh, I almost said pin down here. Let's, let's, let's just open up voice memos and we'll uh, hit, oh my gosh, I forgot about these old recordings in here. Uh, oh yeah, so the reason why I've got the, the iPhone in this case, or in the case, in this box, is because I don't have a case for the iPhone yet because I didn't think it was going to arrive today. I placed an order for this thing, you know, on the pre-order day when they first started taking pre-orders and it said it was going to ship on the 15th, which was yesterday. And I said, well, there's no way it's going to arrive in one day. I mean, they're not going to do one day shipping for this, are they? Well, it actually shipped a few days before the 15th, I think the 12th or the 13th. And it was just, they just held it until the 16th, which is today when they actually, you know, delivered it. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start a new voice memo recording here and we'll go up and there it is. You can't really see the dynamic island super well because <laughs> I'm using a black wallpaper. This is the, the cool like solar system one. Let me go ahead and change that. There you go. You can see that a lot better. And I have to say, I think it is going to take some getting used to. I mean, I, I got used to the notch like pretty quickly. It didn't feel like it was really an obstruction at all. But this definitely looks more noticeable because it's just floating. I mean, that's why they call it the dynamic island. So it's like floating in the middle of the, you know, phone. But yeah, let's go um, back into voice memos here and we'll resume our recording and we'll get out of that and you can see it, uh, yeah, it pops out. I gotta say, this refresh rate on here is amazing as well. Um, again, I'm coming from an iPhone 11 and I just upgraded my main computer monitors to 165 Hertz panels and I came from 60 Hertz. In fact, one of the monitors I've been using since 2012. Uh, so these like I've, I've never experienced these like high refresh rate displays before so it's i know i'm like years late to the party but i mean well let me take that back i have seen some of the ipads with high refresh rates in apple stores like i've gone up and messed around with them and i'm like oh this is really like it's just so much smoother of course you guys can't notice it in the video because this video is going to be at 30 fps but uh you i mean if you've ever had one of these high refresh rate displays you know what i'm talking about one thing i will say about ios 16 i'm so glad they added the ability to put more widgets on the lock screen i know the android people will laugh but it's like I, i've just been waiting for this for so freaking long and it's amazing that they actually like now you can actually have weather information and you know like your alarms and precipitation and your battery and all that and why do i have the battery percentage here because for some stupid reason you can't get the battery percentage in the battery icon on the iPhone 11 and a few other models. Like you can go in here and people were so happy about this. They're like, oh my gosh, you can go into settings and turn on battery percentage now. And now the battery percentage shows up in the status bar. You don't have to pull down. And I'm like, oh great, I can do that on my iPhone 11. No, you can't. This option isn't in there. So it's so stupid. Like why? These are the things Apple does that makes zero sense to me. They're just gatekeeping. A really useful feature I don't see why on earth they couldn't put this on here but yeah so now I still have to pull down to view my battery percentage which is again not the biggest thing in the world but that's why I got to have this battery widget here speaking of the lock screen let me actually take this out of here so I can press the lock button this always on display is going to oh pff, let me <laughs> let me stop the uh, voice memo yeah this always on display is definitely gonna take some getting used to I mean I I am so used to just having the display go off and I definitely want to use the always on display. In fact, can you even disable it? Let me go into settings here. Yes, you can turn it off. So that's great because, you know, if you don't want to use the always on display and you just you just can't get used to it, well, you can disable it. But I'm definitely going to try it, uh, you know, and see, see how I like it. I mean, I, I do love the idea of it, just being able to peek over and just see you know, the phone. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing that I'm really excited about too is the camera system on here. You can also record in ProRes on here, which is nuts to me. Although I should mention, you can't record 4K ProRes on 
the 128 gig iPhone 14 Pro, which sucks for those people who got that and didn't realize. I'm assuming the reasoning has to do with storage, but still, I mean, people would love to try it out. I don't know, man, Apple's just weird sometimes, but there you have it. That is my unboxing and overview of the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm definitely really excited to try in this thing out, messing with that camera, using the footage in videos on this channel. I think this will make a nice uh, secondary camera every once in a while. And it's definitely gonna be a little hard for me to see my trusty iPhone 11 go, but it's just time to move on. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.